What is up everybody and welcome back to the next episode in the bus build series where today we're going to make do on the promise of last week's video and get the solar installed and do the last bit of paint prep on the outside. So what I was missing last week was this guy. It is my entry gland to go from outside in the sun and in the weather to inside the bus. Each of one of these is like a, a threaded plastic screw, but once you tighten this down, it squeezes a rubber washer around the cord. That way, no water can get in through here. As long as this is properly sealed down to the roof of the bus, then this is a waterproof way to get cord cables, ergo electricity, from outside the bus to inside the bus. These are MC4 joiner connectors and I will connect the positives of both my solar panels to this side and the negatives to this side, therefore effectively combining my solar panels before I enter into the bus. So I drilled holes in the roof. I made them big enough to fit some rubber gaskets in the holes, that way the cables that come through the roof don't get scratched or cut by the sharp metal edges. So the gaskets protect the cables as they enter and then they come down and then go along the side of the bus and drop back down in the back corner where my battery box is gonna be. Now I'm gonna run the same process that I did earlier with those cleats for the solar mounting and that's gonna be scraping away some of the flex seal paint that way I can actually adhere to the roof without it having that non-stick feeling to the flex seal. Now that the solar panels are installed, I was able to plug them in through the MC4 connector joiner pieces, and then plug those into my extender cables that bring all that power into the main part of the bus. We're gonna test these wires and we're gonna see how much power we're drawing. Right now it's the first thing in the morning. There's no direct sun on the solar panel, so it's just ambient light. So we'll see how much they're putting out, but any reading is a sign that we are receiving power from the sun in the bus. So let's see what we read. Oh, with my black and black and red and red, you're reading 33.8 volts. That is so exciting to know that there's power in the bus. I have the majority of the rest of my electrical components inside the house, I, they're here, but there's several more steps that we gotta do in here before we're ready to install all that, like running wires, insulating, and building a couple walls. But that's a big step, that's a big success, and I'm stoked to see that get done. Now, we're gonna move on to the final stages of prepping the outside of the bus for paint so we can get this thing a different color. The bus is prepped for paint, which is very exciting. Which means that tomorrow we're gonna start painting. And I've decided to reveal the color choice in this video. Notable Hue by Sherwin Williams. Paint is here and it's ready to rip. So we're gonna get this on the bus tomorrow. In the meantime, that is it for this video. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the solar get installed as well as the bus getting stripped and ready for paint. Make sure that you hit that like button below and subscribe to the channel because the next video, this thing is gonna turn notable hue instead of school bus yellow, which is gonna be exciting. Thank you again, stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.